Hi guys, Ben here with a preview for West Brom versus Liverpool, Saturday afternoon's game at the Hawthorns, which is important as Chelsea beat Burnley tonight, so that keeps the kind of pressure up on us slightly. Um, it's been a bit of a mad day or two for me. I spent last night, um, uh, you know, much of yesterday afternoon at A&E, because uh, I've got a big, bit of an eye problem at the moment, but it is um, on the men now, so that's great. And then today, uh, I've actually been at Mowood, um, meeting the players, meeting Jürgen Klopp, um, seeing a bit of the training session, so that was a really great experience. Um, and for those that for those asking how I how I did it, it was just through a, a friend of a friend who works for a sponsor. So um, yeah, it was just a bit of luck really. But yeah, great to meet all the players. Didn't get m long with them, um, but just nice to take some pictures and just yeah, just uh, see Merwood and had a Q and A with Bruce Grubble on as well, which was good. Um, so yeah, everyone seemed in a good mood. Um, obviously, we're in great form at the moment. And West Brom, I mean, they've just won at Old Trafford, so um, they, they're fighting for their lives. Um, and yeah, it's not going to be a walkover. I remember this, this time last year when we were looking to secure a place in the top four, we went to West Brom and just dug out a 1-0 win. West Brom were probably a bit of a more formidable force back then, um, whereas now they're rock bottom in the league. But as I say, they're fighting for their lives. They managed to beat Man United last week away from home, so let's not treat this as an easy game, especially with, you know, maybe one or two percent in the tank left um, for, for Roma so there will be one eye on that but I think we need to be as strong as we possibly can here to, to secure the three points and just edge one step closer to the top four. We are two wins away from guaranteeing a place in next season's Champions League um, and you know three of those fixtures are West Brom away, uh, Stoke at home, Brown at home with the other one being actually against Chelsea so you, you want to win two of those three easier looking games on paper against the lesser sides uh, and this would be a great place to start. Um, so Lovren's back in training as I obviously I saw first hand today, Joe Gomez is training, um, yeah so it's, it's, it's we're, we're almost at full strength again, Emery Chan obviously is out, Matip's out but um, yeah good to have those guys back. Um, so yeah we we're, we we can field a very very strong side and still have enough um, legs kept back uh, for for Tuesday. Um, so yeah, starting at eleven, Karius obviously in goal. I think Trent will. Oh, there we go, Trent or Klein. Maybe, maybe actually Klein wasn't in training today. I'm not sure where he was. To be completely honest, I'll, I'll, I'll go with Trent to play. Um, if if Klein was at training, he certainly wasn't there when I was there. So I'm not sure what the situation is. But Trent. Uh, Lovren uh, and Van Dijk, um, if, if Lovren's able to play that is, um, if not then Ragnar, uh, Andy Robertson, uh, Jordan Henderson, who do you play with, uh, maybe do you keep Milner back for, for Tuesday, I think I would keep Milner back, I'd probably go by now, Demarcus like Chamberlain, uh, and then Mane, Salah, Firmino, I see no reason why we shouldn't play all three of those, and if we do play all three of those I think we'll, we'll win the game, I think it, like I say, it won't be easy, but I think we should have enough to see them off maybe 2-0. I think Salah to add to his goal tally and edge closest to that Premier League record. Um, he will he will equal the, I believe he'll equal the 38 game record with a goal. Um, so when Suarez getting 31, um, I think it's, it's 34 the the uh, 22, the 40, 42 game record. So yeah, he'll be chasing that down. Um, and I've got every, you know, he's, there's no reason why he can't. Um, Okay, uh, you know, add to that tally against West Brom. So yeah, um, it should be. What can you say? We're we're in terrific form, especially at home at the moment. We're just batting everyone away, but on the road we're looking pretty solid too. That really big win at Palace a few weeks ago, um, a point at Everton, uh, a loss at United. I know, but that was you know maybe a tad unfortunate with with the refereeing decisions and. Um, and maybe a couple of defensive mistakes, but on the road we've been pretty good this season, especially in 2018. So yeah, let's let's continue that against uh, against a team we should be beating with no problems. Daniel Sturridge, uh, you know, I imagine will be unavailable for them. So um, Jerry Rodriguez is in really good form though. Um, obviously he scored against us uh, in the FA Cup in that 3-2 win. He scored a couple. He was really really good. I've been, and I've been impressed every time I've seen Rodriguez play this season. Um, and West Brom have caused us problems at Anfield. They've beaten us and drawn against us in the league. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, they got a couple of injuries, I think Morrison and Barry are out, but um, yeah, we, I was really impressed with them last week, I really like, um, I really like some of their players, but yeah, they're just, they're just not, not, haven't been strong enough this season, it's been a, it's been a long time coming really, the type of football they play, um, even though Hagazi looks quite good and Evans is obviously a good defender, 
they just haven't been able to, they haven't got enough creativity. Um, Krakowiak's been okay, maybe not as good as we expected, um, but there's not enough kind of movement, not enough pace in the team, um, which is frustrating. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're going down. So this, this is our last visit to the Hawthorns for a while. Obviously the Saturday 12.30 slot hasn't necessarily been kind to us this season, but we've got to turn up and, and do the business. So yeah, predictions 2-0. I'm going to be there vlogging it. Um, yeah, so leave leave your predictions. I, sorry if I'm mumbling a bit. I can hardly see a thing out of this eye, so it's quite distracting looking into these lights. But yeah, leave a comment with your predictions of the lineup and the scoreline and scorers and whether you think top four is pretty much secure now and how soon you think we'll do it. And are we going to beat Roma? Obviously, we're going to be thinking about Roma a little bit already. It's very similar to the situation we had um, when we went to Palace away and we had the City game coming up. It's like we have got one eye on that, but we did manage to beat Palace and hopefully the same can happen here. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. My Instagram has got a, well, it's got a picture of me and Jürgen on there. Um, and I'm going to roll out a few more pictures of that. And yeah, I mean, I'm putting pictures of all the kind of traveling I'm doing, watching the away games and plenty of stories. Um, obviously going to Rome in a few weeks and I will be going to Kiev as well, um, whether we win or not. So that, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And lots of you always ask about these t-shirts. This is from Love Follow Conquer. Uh, link is always in my description box. So yeah, go and check those guys out and I'll see you next time.